Hello everyone. Today we will be covering the last topic in your math syllabus that is Roman numbers. The 10 digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 that we use are called Hindu Arabic numerals. These 10 digits are used to write any other numeral. Similarly, the Romans have 7 basic symbols that they use to write any number. These 7 symbols are I, V, X, L, C, D and M. And each of these symbols have different value. Let me tell show you those values. The value of I is 1, the value of V is 5, X is 10, L is 50, C is 100, D is 500 and M is is 1000. So we use a combination of all these symbols to form any other numeral in the Roman number system. The Romans did not have a symbol to represent the digit 0. They used a combination of the above given letters to build all other numbers. But before we do that, let us read about some rules that we need to follow in order to write the correct Roman numerals. Rule number 1. When a Roman numeral or number is repeated one after the other, we add their values to get the number. For example, we know i stands for 1. So when we write i i, it means i plus i. So 1 plus 1 is equals to 2. So the symbol for 2 is i i. Once more, i i i is equals to 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is equals to 3. So the symbol of 3 is i i i. But a letter can be repeated up to a maximum of 3 times only. Therefore, we do not write i 4 times for 4. We write 4 using some other symbols about which I will teach you further now. Let me show you another example. x is equals to 10. So, x x is equals to 10 plus 10 which is equals to 20. So, the symbol of 20 is x x. What do you think is the symbol of 30? Rule number 2. When a smaller Roman symbol is written to the right of a greater Roman symbol, we add the values of both the symbols to get the value of the numeral. For example, V i. Here V stands for 5 and i stands for 1. That means V is greater than 1 and i is written on the right hand side of V. Therefore, we add their values. So, 5 plus 1 is equals to 6. Similarly, v i i i here again v is 5 and i is 1 and they are written on the right hand side of the symbol v so we add the values 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is equals to 8 so we have another example here x x v i here x is the greatest value and then v is smaller than the x and i is smaller than v so we add the values and we get 26 Rule number 3. When a smaller Roman numeral is written to the left of a greater Roman symbol, we find the difference between the numerals. That is, the smaller symbol is subtracted from the greater symbol. Let me show you an example. I, V. Here I is small and V is greater. And I is written on the left hand side of V. Therefore, we subtract the smaller numeral from the greater numeral. 5 minus 1 gives us 4. So, the symbol of 4 is i v similarly i x is equals to 10 which is x minus 1 which is i so the value of i x is 9 i hope you were able to understand this rules let's move on to the last rule when we combine more than two symbols the value of the smaller symbol in the middle of two greater symbols is subtracted from the value of the symbol on its right let me show you an example. X, I, V. Here, both X and V have greater values than I. So, the value of I is subtracted from V first, which is to its right. So, the value of I, V is 5 minus 1 equals to 4. Now, this value is added to the value of the new greater numeral to the left. So, adding 10 and 4, we get 14. So, X, I, V is equals to 14. Similarly, we have another example over here, x, x, i, x. 
here i is the smaller symbol between xx and x so i is first subtracted from the symbol on its right so 10 minus 1 is 9 9 is then added to the greater symbols on its left that is 10 plus 10 so finally we get 29 so this is how we can get the hindu arabic numeral values of the roman numerals here in this page i have written down the the no roman numeral symbols of the hindu arabic numerals from 1 to 25 if you go through this chart once you will be able to understand how each numeral has been formed so with this we come to the end of all the topics in this chapter let us let me take you to the last exercise here we have complete the table so since i have solved 1 to 25 for you in this chart we have 26 to 52 so on the left you have the hindu arabic numeral and on the right you have to write down the roman numerals i have written down the answers of few of the symbols over here to give you a hint of how to proceed further i hope you will have fun solving this question number two write the following hindu arabic numerals as roman numerals so you have to convert this hindu arabic numbers into roman symbols and in question number three you have to convert the roman numerals as hindu arabic numerals so this is a very fun exercise i hope you will have fun solving this one now as i promised i have the answers to all the exercises for you here we have exercise 1.1 then 1.2 followed by exercise 1.3 and 1.4 so as i always say please try to solve the exercises yourself and then refer to these answer keys to check if your answers are correct with this we come to the end of this chapter in the next video we will start another chapter in, math, in your math syllabus that is addition and subtraction that's all for today thank you